In the late 80s, there were community members that were gathering together at houses to pray Salah together. And in 1991, they had the opportunity to purchase the Olsen property. So during that time, on our biggest nights during Khatm Quran, we would have approximately 500 people. So Alhamdulillah, in the last 19 years, we all know that the community has grown exponentially. So in about 2007, 2008, we had the opportunity to purchase the Ogden property. During that time, we had the opportunity to purchase the 248 property. And it has always been one of our goals to have our own center from built from the ground up. ICN was able to acquire a piece of land, almost 14 acres, 13 and a half acres in South Naperville. That property will be built in several phases. Inshallah, there's five different phases and currently we are embarking on the first phase of that project. The first phase of that project will be a mosque. The mosque will have three levels, a basement, a first floor, and a second floor. The first floor will have a uh, a boardroom, we'll have imams' offices, we will have several uh, adequate wudu spaces, a nice large prayer area with two level prayer space, uh, and there will be a women's prayer on the second level. And on the second level, women will have their own multi purpose room, they'll have a mother's room, we'll have a special needs room. So this mosque has really been thought through, keeping the entire community in mind. Every time we built a center, New families and people in the community have gravitated towards that center. And there are a lot of people that moved near 248 because they knew that this masjid was in the works for a long time. And each of these families and community members that come and move into these centers and become a part of the community, they add value to our community. They come up with new ideas, new programs, and take up the roles of leadership. Kids become more engaged and involved in the programs. And alhamdulillah, we all as a community benefit. And that's one of the reasons that we need the 248 project. Four years ago, I joined the ICN Boy Scouts and saw the value what it brings to my kids. And within a year, we decided to move to Naperville. While we're searching for the new house, we heard about the new masjid being built in the neighborhood, which was a big motivation for us to make that move. Living within a walking distance from the masjid is like a dream come true and I'm really looking forward to the new ICN Masjid. I'm truly excited about the 248 project. It will create meaningful opportunities for youth engagement, offer programming and resources, nurturing our youth to be strong Muslims and successful leaders of tomorrow, inshallah. ICN Youth is composed of different programs from middle school all the way up to college and young professionals. We have programs every week where we touch up on relevant topics, fun activities, building confident Muslims, and a sense of sisterhood and brotherhood in the Masjid. Our school serves grades preschool through fourth grade this year. Currently, our enrollment is at 81 students, alhamdulillah, and we are very excited to expand and see how the school will grow in the upcoming years once 248 gets the classrooms built. It's also important to note that in Naperville, we have the weekend school, al Fala, that also has classes for students who aren't able to attend a full-time Islamic school, which is really great for the community because it helps the students connect to Islam on the weekends, um, and they have about 400 students that come to the middle school and attend classes on Saturdays, which really helps keep the students um, connected to their religion. One of the challenges that we face at Newer Academy is space for our students. We are in a good district, however, since we are an Islamic school, we offer classes in Arabic, Quran, and Islamic studies. But due to the limited space that we have, enrollment has a cutoff, and we are hoping to increase our enrollment in the upcoming years as 248 gets built. For those who are parts and parcel of the community, you recognize that there's always something happening at ICN, alhamdulillah. In fact, we run into sometimes issues where we have multiple programs happening at the same time, just because of space constraints, just because there are so many different committees, so many different activities happening all at once and the time is limited. We have more than three to four hundred youth attending our programs on a weekly basis. Current accommodations present challenges when running activities due to space limitation and the shared common space. The 248 Majid will provide an additional space needed for our growing youth program. It will bring a unique experience to Naperville and surrounding areas and establishing a center where the youth can thrive, learn and participate in benefiting each other and the community at large. ICN has seen a really almost exponential growth in our 
Muslim community. We have almost 20% growth over the last few years in our Muslim community. And that is really a testament to the city of Naperville, the Muslims and the Islamic Center of Naperville community that have been welcoming and open arms to our Muslim brothers and sisters from all different walks of life. The community has grown to such a level where we have multiple Jumu'ah Salah at 75th at Ogden and they're full. And alhamdulillah, the 248 property will give us a, a opportunity and the ability to accommodate more people and potentially relieve the burden from some of the other centers. The three masajid that we have now are all beautiful and they all provide their own specific and unique flavor. These were our existing places of worship which we repurposed for our needs. So there are certain things we had certain limitations that we couldn't customize it. They're just not made with the Islamic rituals in mind or the Islamic uh, ideals and how we practice and having all of that thought through with a mosque from the ground up really will allow us to have a facility that fits our needs and not tailoring what we do to the facilities. This is what we hope that 248 will be, a masjid from the ground up, from the beginning as a masjid that will serve as that light we hope until the day of judgment. We did face a lot of challenges getting approval for this project and some of those Complaints or concerns were legitimate. Uh, some people were concerned about the size and the scope of the project. Others were concerned about traffic. And others, they just didn't want the masjid to be built. But Alhamdulillah, through the blessings of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, and then the support from within the community and outside of the community, we were able to address a lot of those issues. Uh, we're quite open with our policies, our plans, and we want to be good neighbors actually to our new neighbors. So despite some of the setbacks and delays in the planning and zoning, we were alhamdulillah able to achieve through the city's hard work. And I do want to mention the city of Naperville has been very helpful in helping us get through this process. And the opposition that we faced as a community. One thing that I actually saw that was very heartening was the way that the youth got involved in caring. A mosque and Masjid facility is an inspirational place for all of us to come, enjoy, and it creates an energy inside of us that we don't get anywhere else. A Masjid like 248 can give to many of our youth and to many of our future generation that they walk in to a Masjid which is one of the symbols of the Deen of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and they feel connected to a legacy that goes way back. When each of our community members who comes in to buy a brick for the mosque, they're putting not just their money, but their heart and their soul. The idea is that you yourself are making your legacy connected with this masjid. Putting our name on a brick actually signifies for us is that we are part of something much greater and, and our names, we hope, are written in a much greater place than just on those bricks. We are embarked on building the project, but the building won't come without community support. And the building, inshallah, will cost at least 11 to $11.5 million just to get the doors open and to be able to use the facility. That takes all of our community working together, supporting each other, and working towards the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Yadullahi ma'al jama'ah, that the hand of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with the jama'ah. So it's important for us that whether we pray at 75th, whether we pray at Olson, whether we pray at Ogden, whether we can pray at 248, that we support all of our projects and we stand together as one ICN.